everybody, this is Birch. And if you'll indulge me for a minute, I want to talk about something that I can't stand. And it keeps coming up over and over and over again. So a little bit of a rant here, but this is this firmly fits into the uh, category of everyone is dumb. Uh, not you, of course, not the person listening. You are awesome. But the other people are all dumb. Um, it, this There's this argument that takes place, and I guarantee you've seen it. Now, now I, I should say, some of you are unicorns. You're amazing people. You have never actually encountered this because you've done such a good job filtering what inputs you get into your life that it's escaped your attention. And if so, you are the winner of the internet today. Congratulations. My hat is off to you. You're the smartest person around. But most of us have seen this. And this is the uh, where have the titties gone? The titties are always been here argument that takes place seemingly on a regular basis. Uh, there is this, uh, this joke that every month people bring up this, uh, this really stupid uh, meme of like, if Batman really wanted to solve crime as Bruce Wayne, he would invest his billions into social programs and re-education and not to dress up like a vigilante bat suit and waste all that money beating up uh, petty criminals. I, I, you, you've probably seen that one. If you, if you have no idea what I'm talking right now, it's, it's the dumbest argument. It shows up once a month. Its intention is to say, hey, look, this is an example of institutional racism and, and how money is being spent and in, uh, you know, foolishly and why modern policing doesn't work and all this other crap, forgetting for the moment that we're talking about a fantasy character who fights villains like Clayface and the Penguin. But, uh, but okay, that's, that's fine. I'm sure social programs will do a great job with Killer Croc. That's, uh, that's what they're doing. It, it, I mean, hell, Suicide Squad's a big social program, right? That's uh, rehabilitation. That's, that's what that is. You just put a bomb on people's necks. That will work really well for shoplifters. So if you want to get that Chicago crime under control, you put Amanda Waller in charge of it. You, you put some bombs in next. Everything is great. But no, it's not that that, argue, that irritates me. All that one certainly does. It's this titties argument. And the titties argument basically goes like this. Somebody posts, um, you know, usually at the origin point of all these, this kind of innocuous, I miss the old days when there were titties in comics. Now, if you disagree, if you feel like the uh, the titties in comics are just fine as they are, then, uh, you know, I, I, what what do you do when you come across it? You do nothing. You don't engage. What is, what is the point of that? When I drive by an Arby's, I don't pull into the Arby's parking lot, park the car, get outside, go into the Arby's, and tell the manager, I'm not eating your food today. It's gross. And then go back and get in the car and drive away. That would be a waste of my time. It would be a waste of their time. Nobody, I, that, that, that is what this is like. It's like going into somewhere uh, that you have no intention of frequenting or eating at or having any business and telling them you don't like it. It's just, just stupid. If someone wants to go online and say, I miss titties, just let them miss the titties. It just, just, it's, it's their life. They can miss the titties as much as they want. Who knows how many titties they're getting in their normal life? That's, that's, my, that, that, that's, that's, that's them. That's, that's their life. But for whatever reason, many this is the argument that keeps happening. Somebody engages with a, I don't know what you're talking about, uh, LOL, crying face emoji, the, you know, there are plenty of beautiful women in comics. And then they go to, usually, a comic featuring Psylocke. So that's it, it, this argument for the past year, it's the same handful of pages from Hellions where Psylocke has some titties. And they, they, it's like, well, see, they're, you're being ridiculous. There are plenty of titties in comics. And then they post these pictures from Hellions and, and Psylocke. And then maybe if they're being cheeky, they'll go back and post some Power Girl from like circa 1998 or, or something, and, and the boob window is there. If they're really next-level trolling, they'll go back and get the character Cloud, who recently showed up in this uh, Defenders book that Marvel has. But, uh, but some people reach back into the 70s and grab, grab Cloud, and uh, that's, some, that's, some world class, uh, that's some world-class comic memory there. And my hat is off to you there. But... Generally speaking, it's, uh, it's, it's the same four or five pages from Hellions that show Psylocke in her Psylocke titty outfit. And then the person, the person comes back and goes, uh, this is where the argument is thoroughly stepped into stupid territory. They're like, oh, yeah, that's one example, but then there's lots of examples of terrible looking women. And they'll, they'll go and they'll grab the page of the derpy, I married my brother cousin 
father squirrel girl Erica Henderson images and probably that one of Captain Marvel where it looks like she's uh, her face is a squashed ham and the other one where it looks like she's a crack addict whose chest is actually concave somehow and I'm like look at this look at this bullshit of these these titties this is what we're talking about and then if the argument continues and it always does the uh, the person trying to make the argument that that there's plenty of titties in comics will you know grab a Harley Quinn uh, you know, maybe that page where she's making out with poison ivy and uh, a handful go, no, you're just stupid. You, you are crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. There are all the, t you're, you're complaining about something that is completely fake. There's all the titties are still there. And this goes back and forth and back and forth forever. Why this irritates me is that I believe, I believe fully that first off, the person who's making the, the titties are still there. You're being uh, it's some weird incel. They're fine. That person knows exactly what the original poster is talking about. Comic books have reduced the sexuality and the, the titties in their books. They, they absolutely have. Quantifiably, they have. Now, I would argue that if your goal of going to comics is titties, then you would be better served just picking up porn. As it turns out, a lot of it's just free on the internet. It's, it's free. And so I, I, I think if, if your sole goal in reading comic books is titties, then take, cut out the middleman of drawn titties and go to, you know, or, or there's web comics. Uh, God, you want a guy who could draw some great titties. Uh, Stefan, who's, who's uh, you know, often posts and comes to live shows. That's, that, is, that is a excellent. Merca, what a great set of titties Merca draws. Anyway, there are plenty of titties in comics. It's true, but there are less than there used to be. There are. If you look at where things were at in the 70s, I would call it, you know, on a scale of one to 10 of titties. I think we were in a, like a five or a six in the 70s. It was, a, there wasn't that many. In the 80s, it bounced up a little bit, no pun intended, to like a seven or an eight. You had some, some good cheesecake in there and you had some artists that really, uh, you know, focused on that. In the 90s, now that level went to like nine or 10 um, and, and too far. I would argue. I know some of you disagree with me, but it went it went into kind of a silly state where uh, some of the costumes and some of the stuff were just absurd. You've seen that Rob Liefeld picture of the Enchantress where her legs are roughly eight feet long and then her upper torso is like two feet. And it's just, it, it looks, it starts to look bizarre. You start to actually picture these, uh, these, these titties on real people and they look really, really weird. And so it, it went kind of too far. In the 2000s, it seemed like it, it backed up again. It went back to kind of the 80s look of, of titties, which is just, you know, the right amount, more realistic. You had people like um, Brian Hitch, for example, who could draw a nice set of titties and, and would, but would draw in a more realistic way. And you had that going on. And then in the 2010s, we saw a almost embarrassment settle over the comic industry where it got very self-conscious about its titties and it started to, to pull back. And so you saw some very deliberate efforts to, to not have them. Now, you could go to any of those eras, including even the 90s. You can go to any of them, and you could find uh, artists who deprioritize titties in books. I would say that uh, Michael Mignola, who is an excellent artist, had a different way of rendering titties than, say, Art Adams. Um, still an amazing artist, still good stuff. But if, if you look at Walt Simonson, again, drew a healthy bust on, on his characters, but not at a level of, uh, I don't know, Terry Dodson. For example, there was just there was a difference there. Frank Cho versus Walter Simonson have a different uh, heft to the titties that would be put onto the page. But uh, it, so in every era, there were definitely people who had different levels of of uh, titty artistry in their books. But in the 2010s, you saw you, you definitely saw a conscious effort to to withdraw, and you saw characters like Captain Marvel, like Carol who rendered through the 70s, the 80s as being you know, super busty in a lot of cases, wearing that uh, swimsuit with a sash costume and kind of bouncing around, uh, marrying her, her son, or not marrying her son, just going off to have an affair with her child. Uh, and then in the 2010s, you saw suddenly this change in, in the way the characters rendered. Now, it's a fair argument to say, hey, different artists, different styles, and everybody's going to do it differently, and this is, you know, you just there you go. It's, it's different now. It's fair to say that. And it's also fair to say, I like the deprioritized titty era better. I think the character, I, for whatever reason, you know, I was hit in the head as a child, the way Eric Anderson draws uh, Squirrel Girl, 
is far more attractive to me than, I don't know, a Peach Momoko version of uh, Score Girl. Uh, that it just did way better. I just like, uh, I like that, uh, that look of, you know, some, um, old meat that's been left in the sun for a while and started to deteriorate. I like the way that, you know, that, that I like that. That's how I want my characters to look. And that's fine. That could, that everybody has their own preferences, their own style. And it's perfectly okay to say, I, you know, I like it better now. But what always gets me about this argument, which makes me kind of crazy here, and no, this video is not an excuse to just say the word titty roughly 500 times. It's the, I don't know what you're talking about. Here are the same four pages that uh, vaguely show titties. And I, I am completely going to pretend that this is indicative of every other comic. You know what you're talking about. You know that it's that's not the case. You know that you're making a, uh, you're, you're you're, to use the internet terms, you're gaslighting, son. That's what you're doing. You're gaslighting. It's it's not, it's 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 a phony argument. You're 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 playing, and you're you're wasting everybody's time by pretending that, that you know. I I just have why, sir. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm surrounded by titties at this very minute. It's it, no things have changed, and so it takes an argument that may or may not be a, a truthful one. And it turns it into this phony argument of uh, people like, ah, look at, look at what we're doing. I, I just, I, I despise it. This is, uh, this to me is the most glaring example of extremes gone wrong. The, there are no titties, there are tons of titties. The reality is, there are less titties. There you go. And maybe in the 20, 2020s to, you know, that, this next decade, the decade we're in now, who knows, there may be a titty renaissance where, we get to like 2025, and suddenly Stu, uh, Storm's uh, boob window costume is back, and you know, I, I, Carol has gone in for those implants again, got to put back in. I, who knows what could happen? Anything can happen in comics. I just, uh, I can't stand, I can't stand it when people pretend to misunderstand or pretend to not know what people are talking about. It's a goofy argument. It's an argument that really is designed to something else because you can smell it very quickly. The person who's who's putting on this, I don't know what you're talking about. Comics are the same as they've always been, but they're not. They're not. And and just just say, comics have changed, and I like the change, and it's better that way. Just say it. But what it always comes across to to me is the person who's making this argument doesn't like the change, or doesn't even read the comics, but their real goal is they like to argue with people about this. They like to come off as superior, like I, I, sir, am a, fem am a feminist who is uh, pretending that there's plenty of titties in comics. And, and if you find yourself, if, you, if you're that guy, because let's be face it, it's always a guy. If you're that person doing that, then just, just read aloud what it is you're doing. You're basically... Standing up for I, I, who knows you're you're fighting the uh, you're fighting the trolls by arguing that the titty count in comics is the same as it's ever been. That's how you're choosing to spend your afternoon. Now, granted, I've just chosen the last ten minutes to talk about titties in comics, so I, I I understand that we're all fishing at the bottom here. But that's uh, that's that's where things are. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. I, uh, for what it's worth, I thought the 80s titties were great. 90s, uh, often weird. It just, just too far. Um, and uh, again, there's, there's lots of porn. There's lots of, if that's, if, if there's tons of porn out there. Okay. I think it's fair to say that it would be nice if the illustrations in comics did not look like, uh, you know, a half melted popsicle drug around in mud, like, uh, Erica Henderson's, uh, Squirrel Girl. Um, but I'm, I also think it's fair that if, if titties is really what you're after, just, just, just porn, porn. What are you doing? Porn. Thanks for wasting your time with this video.